Hi, this is Gina at Art of Skin Care. I suffer from hyperpigmentation, and if you do too, there's some important things that you need to know about hyperpigmentation that you may not know. So stay tuned to this episode, and I will share with you what I've learned 15 years working with the skin and how I treat my own hyperpigmentation and how I can help you to treat yours. So the first thing that I want you to know about hyperpigmentation is that it is an inflammatory disorder. When you think of an inflammatory disorder, you often think of rosacea, right? Because rosacea, the skin is exposed to different elements and it becomes red or inflamed. With hyperpigmentation, you're not as aware that it's a, an inflammatory disorder because you're not turning red. Your skin reacts by creating melanin that creates dark spots. So one thing that we know about aging is that inflammation leads to premature aging. So for those of us who have this reactive skin type that is making all kinds of uneven and dark pigmentation, we are also susceptible to premature aging. So it's very important to choose the products that we use to treat our hyperpigmentation with care. So as you know, if anybody who suffers with inflammation or any kind of stress in the body or on the skin, you know your body can become depleted. If you're living a stressful lifestyle, style, you're working a lot, you're overworking, you're gonna be prone to grabbing those B vitamins, right? Because you're trying to fortify and strengthen your body so that you can handle that stress. Well, the same happens with inflammation in the skin and hyperpigmentation. Our skin, because it's so reactive, is going to become depleted. So it's very important for us to look for ingredients in our products that are going to calm the inflammation. They're gonna be protective against the environment, so we want really nice antioxidants, and then we wanna keep that skin really balanced and well moisturized. That's what's gonna help keep our skin strong so that it's less reactive. There are three important factors that I need you to know that contribute to hyperpigmentation. And I like to call these the pigmentation storm. One of the things everyone is already aware of that causes hyperpigmentation is UV. Going out in the sun, uh, you know, you've been told by your estheticians, your doctors, wear a hat, wear your so strongest sunscreen, that's because the UV will trigger hyperpigmentation. But what you don't realize, and maybe you have learned if you're like me, you have learned that you could go outside and wear the biggest hat and you could sit in the shade all day and you can still go home and the next morning wake up with darker pigmentation spots on your skin because there is another factor that contributes to hyperpigmentation and that is external heat. So if you're out on a hot day, you've got your sunscreen on, you've got your hat on and you're still getting dark pigmentation, that's because heat triggers the pigmentation response in our highly reactive skin. So those are two factors. We've talked about UV exposure and then external heat. A third type of heat that many people don't think about is internal heat. So internal heat happens when we heat our body up, when we're running, we're exercising, working out, we create internal heat. So when we combine internal heat with external heat and the UV rays, we're creating that perfect pigmentation storm. Where in the summertime, we have all of those elements that we're facing there for me, there's no way I'm not gonna go outside and create internal heat. I love to go outside, I love to exercise. I'm out running, I'm riding my bike, I'm playing with my grandkids. I'm gonna create a lot of internal heat in an externally hot world with lots of UV going on. And so there are some important things that I need to know and that you need to know to do in order to protect your skin in that kind of a situation. So here we are in the summer months and we've got this perfect pigmentation storm going on to create pigmentation on our skin. The, the bad news is that we are not gonna get through the summer 
without collecting some hyperpigmentation. Um, we've got to go outside. We've got to have fun. We've got to enjoy ourselves, right? But what I'm going to do is give you some tips so that you can minimize the amount of hyperpigmentation that you get through the summertime. You're going to get some, but we're going to try and keep it to a minimum and we're going to try and reduce that inflammation to keep our skin really healthy. Then when the fall comes, we'll get together again. I'll meet you right back here and I'll share with you the tips and tricks that I use to get rid of that buildup of hyperpigmentation that happened over the summer months. So now it's summer though, and you've got to put together a skincare routine for yourself that really nourishes and takes care of your skin. So how are you gonna do that? Number one is that you're going to eliminate those harsh ingredients that further cause further inflammation and cause further reaction in the skin. So we're gonna eliminate for the summer glycolic acid, we're gonna eliminate retinol serums, and we're gonna eliminate hydroquinone just for the summer. And we're gonna replace those with gentler forms of acid. What comes to my mind, I love mandelic acid. It's very brightening. Um, I love lactic acid, which is very hydrating. So I'm gonna look for products that have mandelic or lactic acid in them, and I'm gonna look for low percentages. This isn't the time to go for 11%, 15% type serums. This is when you wanna go for the five, three, five, maybe 8% in your serums, that, um, in your acid serums, that'll be high enough. And then we're gonna to want to replace our retinol serums with retinol's little sister, retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde is a much gentler form of retinol and it can actually be used in the summer months without having any of those kind of retinol reactive um, inflammatory things that can happen when we use retinol serums. So to recap, we're gonna eliminate the harsh acids. We're gonna invite in some gentler um, cousins to those acids and we're gonna invite in the little sister retinaldehyde. Now, those are really important correctors. Correctors are things that help to exfoliate the skin, refine the skin texture, stimulate some collagen production, but we cannot neglect feeding the skin. So we need in the summer months to really feed and nourish the skin. When I think about nourishing serums, I'm thinking about serums that contain anti-inflammatory ingredients and super powerful antioxidants. So some of the serums I'm gonna show you today contain things like multivitamins, um, stem cell cytokines, and fermented plant stem cells. All of these things are really gonna nourish and feed my skin and help to protect it from becoming depleted during these summer months. All right, the first thing that I wanna show you that I use in these summer months, and I use this on my face, I use it on my neck, the back of my neck, my whole body. Uh, this is Rhonda Allison's Brightening Pigment Lotion. This lotion goes on in the morning and it goes on in the evening and I'll sometimes even splash it on if I've gotten hot outdoors. If I've been out walking around and my skin's gotten hot or I've been out working out, I don't even use a toner pad. I spray it right into my hands, rub my hands together and then I'm putting this onto my skin. Now on my body in the mornings, I might only put on brightening pigment lotion and then I'm putting on my daily zinc. I'm putting my sunscreen right over it. Brightening pigment lotion has this Bellus Perennis in it, which is an amazing, it's a daisy flower extract. It's on the equivalent of hydroquinone, only it does not have those toxic effects on the liver and on the body. Now we want to be careful with Bellus Perennis. We don't want to use it in too strong a concentration at this time of the year. Um, come back in the fall and we will be using it in stronger concentrations at the end of the summer when we're not as exposed to the sun. But for the summer months, Brightening Pigment Lotion has that perfect concentration, perfect percentage of the Bellus Perennis. So I'm always splashing that on all the time. That is just my go-to. Somewhere similar to how you might use a hydrating mist, I'm using Brightening Pigment Lotion all day throughout the day. Now, when it comes to 
having a serum for the skin, I can't find one serum that has everything that I want. Maybe it's because I'm a skincare enthusiast. I want to say a skincare junkie because that's not good. I'm a skincare enthusiast. I'm that skincare lover. I am really looking at those ingredients and hand choosing from my favorite serums, the ingredients that I need for my skin to really keep it nourished and well balanced. So in the morning, I am making myself a cocktail. So a serum cocktail can be very powerful. And the way to do it is just to put a little bit of each serum into your hand and then put it on. So in this serum cocktail that I use this summer, I'm using about a half a pump of Neogenesis Recovery Serum. And then I'm grabbing Rhonda Allison's MVC Serum. So that's your multivitamin and vitamin C serum. And I'm putting about half a pump to a pump of that in my hand. And then I am grabbing Rhonda Allison's Sea Gems. Sea Gems has that amazing fermented uh, thermos thermophilus in it. Try saying that three times. That is a regulator, a temperature regulator. And it, it's a plant from a plant source and it regulates the temperature in your skin. So Sea Gems for me is really important because I not only do I exercise and create all this internal heat, but I also have hot flashes because I'm that postmenopausal stage of my life. And those hot flashes, that creates a lot of internal heat that can also increase inflammation and increase, increase my hyperpigmentation. So I'm putting a couple drops of that in there. See if you can take a look. And then I'm just mixing it together. And this is what I'm putting on my skin every morning. This is my morning protection. This is what's gonna get my skin through the day with as little inflammation as possible and keep my skin feeling really healthy and well balanced. Now, my skin is a combination skin. So I've got some pores through the nose area and then I can be a little drier out in the cheek area. So I like to use, especially in the summertime, a very light moisturizer. What I go to is actually a serum as my moisturizer. And that's Sorella Apothecary Lemon Lightning Serum. Lemon Lightning Serum is a creamy serum. So for me, it's the perfect amount of moisture that I can use as my moisturizer for the summer months. And then on top of this, I'm gonna make sure and put on a good sunscreen. I'm using either Art of Skin Care Skin Perfection or this, or Prime and Protect. If I'm going out in the sun for a run, I'm putting on Daily Zinc because that's the one that's the most hydrating and it's gonna stay with me through a run. Now, if you have oilier skin and daily zinc is too heavy for you, choose Art of Skin Care's Prime and Protect. Prime and Protect has a lot of um, water resistancy. You can get in water, it stays on, you can really sweat and it stays on really well. So those are my key daytime things that I'm using on my skin and treating, um, treating my hyperpigmentation. So when I'm creating my nighttime routine, I'm thinking about having some correctives in there, but remember I'm choosing not to use glycolic and I'm not using retinol right now. So my nighttime routine is made up with Rhonda Allison's mandelic arginine. Mandelic is a fabulous brightener. It also really stimulates collagen production. So I'm gonna use mandelic arginine. I'll put that on first and then I grab Rhonda Allison's Synergy A and I'm gonna put Synergy A on top of that. And then for nighttime, I am in love with this cream. This is Rhonda Allison's Brightening Cream Enhanced. So if you've already, if you've done a lot of the stuff that I've already mentioned, but you haven't tried Brightening Cream Enhanced, you've got to try this. Because sometimes I'll have a client who's using the Mandelic Arginine, they're using the Synergy A, and those dark spots, they're just not lightening up or they're just being really stubborn. As soon as I get them using brightening cream enhanced at nighttime, things just lighten up. The next morning when you wake up from using this, your skin just looks brighter, um, more luminous, and those dark spots are much lighter. This, however, is not safe for our really acne prone clients. So if you are more acne prone than you probably might know about or you want to know about Face Reality's Brighten Sea Mask. 
This is called a mask, but it can be left on all night. So we kind of call it the brightening sea all night mask. So you put on brightening sea at night as your nighttime moisturizer and you wake up the next morning and it's very much like ultra brightening cream that you wake up the next morning with your skin, uh, the hyperpigmentation noticeably lighter and the skin looking more luminous and more glowy. So this is my summer skin protocol. This is what I am doing every day. I do have another protocol that I use on special occasions or that I rotate in with this, and that is my Sculpla protocol. So if you are a Sculpla enthusiast and you're using the Sculpla and Cavapla products, be sure and subscribe and also turn on your notifications because my next video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Cava Plus Sculpla protocol into a brightening protocol that protects your skin in the summertime. If you have any questions, reach out to us at Art of Skin Care. My AOS live chat estheticians are all licensed. They're all educated by me. They are fantastic and they will be happy to help you customize this protocol so that it is just right for you.